Hello, my name is Seth, and we're going to do a short coherence meditation on aging. And aging is really interesting because there's a lot of belief systems and a lot of ideas about it that are scary to people. But there's a lot we can do because when it comes right down to it, we're not our age. We are our energy. And so when we uplift that energy, or more accurately, we get it in tune with our life force that causes the heart to beat and allows thoughts to arise in our mind, that's when we don't care that much about birthdays and getting older and the anticipation of getting older when birthdays are coming up. So find a place, sit down, and when you sit down or lay down, just allow yourself to get really comfortable. And no matter what you're sitting on, just allow yourself to feel safe and supported so that all your body weight is being held up by a chair or a bed or a floor and so you don't have to worry about your body for a little while you're just gonna relax and we're gonna explore new possibilities so that we can break out of all of these age-old belief systems that can hold us back so as you're comfortable, supported, and relaxed, and really begin to slow your breathing down, you can take rhythmic breaths, five seconds on the inhale, five seconds on the exhale, and really just calm and slow everything down in your body. And while you're relaxed, put a small inner smile in your face and keep it there. And notice that when you put a smile on your face, you immediately feel better or happy or joyous. You literally, by choice alone, you flick a switch and it makes your entire body chemistry change instantly because the feeling of the smile that you're beginning to feel in your body is a feeling that your heartbeat will pulse to every part of your body. And it sounds simple, but it is so powerful when you really make a habit of practicing this. So you're totally relaxed. Your breathing is slowed down. You feel the feeling of happiness from the smile on your face. And now, almost feel like you're breathing through your heart. Like you're inhaling into your heart with that feeling of happiness and exhaling from your heart with that same feeling of happiness, just bathing your cells and every part of your body. And so keep your attention focused there. With that happy feeling, five seconds on the inhale, five seconds on the exhale, 
and the feeling of that smile is sustained because you're practicing it and choosing to feel it everywhere that you can. And so from this place, just allow yourself to be aware that anticipatory anxiety can really create a tremendous amount of stress hormones in our body. If we begin to worry too much about anything, whether it's in the immediate future or in the distant future, we actually create habits of feeling that anxiety and the more we focus on it, the more we seek out people, places, things, situations that reaffirm the anxiety or sadness or anything that causes us to be in that state of anticipatory anxiety. And so with birthdays, there's actually been studies that show as birthdays come around, people celebrate it, but they also have anxiety about it. They're getting older, they're seeing more gray hairs. They feel like they're getting, they're losing their strength. They're getting weaker. Most of that isn't actually true. A lot of why that stuff happens is because we are having a form of anticipatory anxiety that actually is causing us to feel stressed out. And those feelings of stress and the gray hairs and the lines on the face, we start to look at that as aging. But when we question how much of that is aging or how much of it is because we're in a state of fight or flight that our whole world has normalized. And so instead of loving our body and loving the energy in it we're projecting our anxiety into it and we choose to feel and focus on stress even if we don't mean to because it's just what we've been conditioned to do so let go of the ideas of birthdays. You can celebrate them, but you don't have to think about it in a way where aging is something that you despise or are afraid of or that knocks you off balance and it causes your body to get weak and feeble. If you create these feelings of sustained heart and brain coherence where the heart and the brain and every organ and gland in the body are all in communication with each other and you are aware of that communication just by feeling it and putting that smile on your face is influencing all of that communication and when you get good at doing that and you're not worried about really anything that you once were. You can apply this quick coherence, the ability to get into these states of calm, and you can apply that towards anything that you face. And when you get good at getting into and sustaining heart and brain coherence. 
then you attract others who are also doing that. And the longest lived people in the world have a lot of things in common. And one of those is they have lots of friends and communities throughout their entire life. And it's not too late for us. We can find like-minded, like-hearted individuals and create friendships, relationships, associations, anything. And when we have friends or family or soul family, when we interact with each other, we uplift each other and we have the ability to bring out the best in one another. And that is something that is so powerful and transformative that you don't worry about aging anymore. So practice this anytime that you would like, that you feel it's important a birthday's coming up, or if you feel like you're getting old, get into these states and sustain them. And literally create the best version of yourself by choice alone. You just put that smile on your face and you have the ability to sustain it. So please like, love, tag, share, and help us get these videos and meditations out to as many as possible. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.